Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for April 1st through April 8th. This is for the sign of Scorpio. What do you have for Scorpio for the first week of April? Scorpio. Now this is a general reading. Whatever comes up, comes up. Ooh, unexpected choice in love. Or there could be a... a well, this is the past. That's the past. But this is... Whatever. Um, this is a choice in love. Okay, be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. Are you sure it's not just seduction? Are you sure? Because the lover's card can be seduction. All right? And you will live with the consequences of your choice. So choose wisely. This is a decision you may have already made, but maybe not because we're dealing with so many people here. Now, I've decided to do these all upright for this segment for one specific sign um, just because they, they, they have a really hard time hear, hearing the, any negative. So I have decided to try to make them all easy on the ears. We'll see what happens. Look at the majors, okay? Major arcanas are universally guided changes. Whatever is happening in your life right now is is driven from the universe. This isn't this is out of your hands, the universe. This is divine guidance here. You got whatever is happening right now in your life is part of the plan. Okay? And whatever is happening is, is, is happiness. Okay? Whatever is happen, happening is bringing you peace, harmony, happiness, inspiration, hope, enlightenment, um, structure, stability. We're going to get to this one in a minute. Okay? There is some obsessions here, too. But this is the future. Okay? This is the future. Past, present, future. You, of course. There, the, whatever is happening is a gift from the universe. There is sexual desires here. Woo! Okay, lust and obsessions over here. Okay, this is what's going. Be careful. Be really careful. You could be dealing with somebody that is just in it for the sex. Could be you. Okay, somebody is obsessed with sex. This is sexual desire. Just saying. Okay. So, it appears that you have, a, you have an unexpected choice. The seduction. Seduction. Be careful. Be careful. I have to tell you that this is my second try on your video. And we had the Seven of Cups in your first video. Beware of false beginnings, Scorpio. You could be dealing with somebody who is feeding you a line of illusions, okay? And if you want to be in denial, that's totally up to you. But beware, okay? Because you could be being lied to. You could be being deceived, okay? Maybe somebody is looking for security. Maybe they're looking for a roof over their head and sex, okay? Because where's the actual love here in this reading? Where is it? There's seduction. It could be love. Could be. Okay. Either way, right now you're really happy, right? You're really happy. You're feeling really enlightened. You're feeling um, vibrant. You're vibrant, okay? Feeling very vibrant. There could, be a, there could have been some sort of reconciliation or a reunion with somebody, you know, that, you're, that you are karmically tied to. Okay? There could be a karmic tie. You know, there could be some sort of reunion, whatever. Here we have the tower. Okay? There's a false foundation here. There is false foundation, false foundation. There's a false foundation here. And you guys, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried. The last one wasn't so pretty, so I decided I was going to do it over. Okay? I feel like you guys could be being used. And I'm sorry to tell you that, but I'm going to tell you the truth whether you like it or not. Presently, 
you're looking at this through rose-colored glasses. This is a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of wish fulfillment. And some of you, it could be actual wish fulfillment. But I feel as though there is some sort of obsession here in manipulation. Somebody could be manipulating you. Or this could simply be you getting your life back on track. Because this is gonna, this is for hundreds and thousands of people. Somebody is getting their lives back on track and looking at this through a positive light. And that is the way to go. That is how you should be looking at it. But I have to tell you, with this devil card and these sexual desires and this tower card, you can't ignore those energies. You can't just ignore them and pretend that everything is all peachy when it's not the other one also had the three of swords in it okay so I feel as though somebody is there's a karmic bond there's a karmic bond with somebody that is probably very manipulative and controlling and I feel as though this person is probably in the very beginning making you very happy telling you everything that you want to hear but it's a false foundation this right here is an obsession this is holding on to something that doesn't serve you because it there this temptation is karmic it is this 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 whatever this is it's karmic okay it's karmic it's lust lies manipulation sex drugs and alcohol this is the sexual desires this sacral chakra okay i feel as though you guys probably have reunited. You've reunited with someone that you are karmically tied to. Feels good. Feels real good. Feels great. Out of this world. Really, really, really good. Happiness, enlightenment. I feel bliss. All the while, the ultimate manipulator is right in the middle of your reading. And here. You got them both. The two ultimate manipulators are sitting right beside each other. Somebody is manipulating and they are not telling the truth. And you are being called to stand up for yourself. This person is telling you everything you want to hear to fulfill your wishes. But all they bring is obstacles and challenges into your life. What are you going to do? This is the two of wands. Do you stay here? Or do you move forward? Where are you focusing your energy? Are you focusing your energy on something that is destructive? Or are you w willing to focus it on something that is stable and secure? Patience is needed here. You need to invest in something that is stable and secure, not lust. I'm gonna get you one of these.
This is the past, present, future. Hard work pays off, okay? It does. But you have to be patient. You have to be patient. Give back. Today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today. I feel as though there's an unexpected choice in love. There's a karmic bond between you and another person. It could be a Capricorn or an Aries. And it's something that is undeniable. And it's very sexual. And you are being called to make a decision. Do you go back or do you go forward? We also have a Leo. We have Leo, Leo Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, Aries, Scorpio. So you're all here, right? There's an instant gratification here. Instant gratification. that leads to obstacles and challenge uh, obstacles and challenges and a disaster be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice that's what the lover's card means talk to you later